All right, here we go, here we go. My first impressions of the On Cloud X running shoe, a road running shoe. I took it out on the roads today, but also as you saw in the snow and the slush, I must say, I was pretty impressed. My feet did not get that wet in this shoe. I was a little surprised. That's good news. Good job on. Uh, as far as the upper construction, it seemed to keep a lot of that moisture out. Uh, so brand new, this shoe will cost you $140. Um, so I would say like middle to high as far as pricing for this type of shoe. And it's a six millimeter drop from heel to toe, six millimeter drop. And my shoe is weighing in at seven and a half ounces, although they're advertising it for eight ounces on their website. So some people in the comments, uh, maybe 10 days ago when the shoe arrived at my house, they were they were saying and commenting that this is more, the OnCloud X is more of a uh, cross training shoe or an active lifestyle type shoe. and. I, I might agree with that. I might agree with that. Um, I think it's the on cloud flyer that has a little more cushion to the shoe. And so I'm, I'm actually pretty interested in trying that shoe out at some point. The on cloud flyer is what I'm reading on their website has just a little more cushion. Uh, so what happened today? I took it out for 12 miles and it was a solid run. By mile 11 to 11 and a half, I will say in my left foot, so actually this shoe over here on my forefoot, so toward, right under my toes, I was feeling just a little bit of, I don't want to call it a pain, but kind of a pressing feeling on the bottom of my foot because a little lack of cushioning through the forefoot. And I will just say, I think the outsole rubber on the on cloud x and probably a lot of the on cloud shoes is just a little hard i'm just gonna put it out there i don't know what you guys think but it feels like they could soften up the rubber through the outsole just a hair and i could feel it today in my left foot and i was like ah i'm glad i'm stopping um because i don't know if i'd want to go two more miles three more miles in this shoe is what i was getting at so i would say this is not going to be a long distance running shoe for me and for the on cloud x breathability through the upper and it's a it looks to be a very well constructed upper as far as durability it's going to be fascinating to see how this shoe breaks down over time through the upper but man it says swiss engineering on this shoe man I'm, i must say like it looks like a really well constructed upper i will say that and I would love to run in this shoe when it's 90 degrees out in Denver or because it, it's very, very, very breathable. In fact, if it was below 20 degrees Fahrenheit or six degree, negative six degrees Celsius, if it was below that temperature, I think my toes would be very, very cold in this shoe. I think you would agree with me. Like I would probably put on some really thick winter socks to run in this shoe if it was, let's say, below, below that 20 degree mark Fahrenheit. And for the weight, again, eight ounces, 226 grams. You're just crushing it on as far as the weight of your shoes. Like, really lightweight. In fact, yesterday in the Nike Vomero 14s, I ran 745 pace in the snow and it, uh, it, was, it was hard. Like, I, I definitely felt like I was working a little harder. Today, I was running 715s a mile and it was it was a little shorter run I will I will say that but uh, my turnover felt a lot easier and it was hillier today as well on the, on the route that I took today so um, that's something to consider I think these cloud tech the cloud technology through the midsole like how it's basically hollow through the midsole um, I'm still trying to figure out the the cloud um, the cloud effect through the midsole but it does reduce the weight quite a bit and I say bonus points for that and a couple people were asking on Strava actually about the concern of rocks and sticks or any debris on the trails or on the roads getting stuck in the cloud like between the clouds whether it's here in the middle on the on the outsole or even like right through the midsole there I have not had any issues yet and listen I haven't taken them out on the trails yet so that might be a different story on the trails where there's obviously a lot more rocks and stones to be caught in here but nothing yet so that's good anyway I actually wouldn't be too concerned about it I think I think the clouds are spaced far enough apart that it would be hard for a rock or a stone to get stuck in there. Again, I just got to do more testing off the off the asphalt, off the pavement. When will I use the On Cloud X running shoe moving forward? This is what I'm thinking. I would use this shoe 
for a six to eight mile, maybe 10 mile tempo run on the roads leading up to a, a half marathon or a marathon and I just kind of want to go let it rip on the roads just to get that turnover going and uh, that's how I will use this shoe moving forward or I would use this on Cloud X shoe for a 5k road race. I don't think I would take it to 10k as far as racing hard but a 5k I felt fast today in this shoe. I really did. And if you're looking for a shoe that's not a traditional uh, road racing flat, but you still want something that's light enough, and I'm telling you, I don't know what it quite it is, if it's the clouds on the bottom, but it feels like the shoe wants me to go straight forward. And I felt it in the running shoe store the first time I put it on, and I felt it again today. Like, I just want to go straightforward with my stride when I'm when I'm in the on on any on cloud so far so I got to do some more testing and see and there you have it that's my first impression of the on cloud X running shoe it feels good feels fast I'm wishing for a little more cushion feel especially through the forefoot mostly just through the forefoot especially since I'm more of a midfoot and forefoot striker uh, the upper feels amazing, very comfortable, very breathable. I think they are nailing the upper really, really well. I like the six millimeter drop, kind of middle of the road, not too high, not too low. Uh, the shoelaces, nice bright green, and there's plenty of shoelaces to really get a nice uh, lockdown feel. So I'm, I'm excited, um, but again, I just don't think this will be a long distance running shoe, and that's okay, and that's okay. And the keyword for today, it's got to be cloud, got to be cloud, down in the comments, and if you have experience in any on cloud running shoe but especially this one the on cloud x let us know give us your thoughts your opinions on how it feels for you i'll i'll be really excited to read your comments and hopefully be able to comment back to as many of you as possible about this road running shoe mm, seek beauty work hard and love each other thanks for being here second time second time today mm.